the second news broadcast of our weekend here at Youth in Government. Today's segments include buying reenacted trivia and officer interviews. We will finish off with an interview from our governor. Now Kylie and Misha are going to reenact some vines for y'all. And this is Jacob. Jacob, go. Adam. This is Max. Max, go. What are those? <laughs> and this is Lauren. Lauren, go. Oh, I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> And this is Grace. Grace, go. Oh my gosh, they were roommates. And this is Riley. Riley, go. Hi, welcome to Chili's. And this is Evan. Evan, go. A potato flew around <laughs> my room before you came. I knew that. I knew that one. Thank you. And this is Blaine. Blaine, go. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. Great job, guys. Next, Jordan is going to test some of your fellow delegates with some brain teasers and trivia. Okay, um, what has a head and a tail but no body? It's a coin. Oh! How many hearts does an octopus have? <laughs> Is this like a, a pun or is it like a. Actual <laughs> no, it's a, it's a question. Like an actual question. Like two? Three? Yes. Oh, yeah, we get two answers. Okay. How many teeth does an aardvark have? Zero. Yes. In Sunday in Columbus, Ohio, it is illegal to sell what? <laughs> no. Well, I guess that, but that's not the answer. Uh, think of the famous cereal brand that has a tiger as their logo. Frosted. Okay, now what is that? Not the frosted, but like what's underneath the frost? Should be in stuff. Bowl. Cereal. Flakes? Corn flakes? Yes. We said that just Okay. Uh, what is the largest ocean surrounding the United States? Pacific. Uh, Atlantic. Pacific. Oh, that was a guess. Okay. Alaska. 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 What is Marilyn Monroe's natural hair color? Blonde. No. Ginger. Yes. How'd you know that? I don't know. It just made sense in my mind. <laughs> it wouldn't be a question if it was something like normal. Okay. Well, thank you. Hi, I'm Sila, and this is Kate Flory, and this is Emma Meyer. And today we'll be testing these lovely ladies on Tennessee trivia. First question for you: What's the Tennessee state flower? Uh, I don't know. Um, purple. <laughs> like the kind of flower. You're close. You're close. Dandelion. False. What's the Tennessee state flower? Iris? Correct. <laughs> Next question. What do the three stars on the state flag represent? Middle, East, and West Tennessee. Last question. Have you heard about the dinosaur bill? I have. What do you think about it? Um, I think it's not really a bill and it's pretty silly. Perfect. Thank you, Josiah. Well, wasn't that just hilarious? Next, we sent one of our own to ask people to describe their officers in one word. Relaxed. <laughs> nice. That's not bad. Sweet. <laughs> Smart. Cool. <laughs> Educated. <laughs> Confident. Efficient. Dedicated. Intense. Great. Iconic. Cool. <laughs> Intelligent. Fashionable. Funny. Chill. Hardworking. Powerful. Confident. Relaxed. Passionate. Funny. Sweet. Presidential. Yeah. Beautiful in every way. Authoritative. Productive. My floor leader is magical. Smart. Next, we are going to hear from our very own Governor Alan Liu. Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm here with uh, Alan Liu, and I'm the Governor. Today we're asking him some controversial questions and seeing what his answers are. Our first question is, is a hot dog a sandwich? Uh, definitely. Why do you think that? For me, a sandwich is two slices of bread 
and anything in between. And for me, a hot dog is two slices of bread with meat in between. So for me, it's a clear case that it's a hot dog. I okay. mean, a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next question is, how do you pronounce this word? Gif. And do you really think it's gif? Uh, yes. But, but the creator said that it's gif. And I understand the creator has his own opinions. However, under normal English phonetic rules, we would pronounce it as gif. We would not soften the G. This is gif. But what if we did soften the G? Then wouldn't it be gif? It would be wrong. Would That's it what it would be. That's why we would, would spell just it with be a GIF? J. That's why we would, would it spell just it with be a GIF? J. No, it would but be wrong. But what if like, the creator said it was GIF, so it's GIF. I'm sorry that he's wrong, but I mean, he's wrong. Okay, <laughs> sure. Our next question is, how do you feel about gun control? For me, I am, of course, as I stated in my packet, I am in support of stricter gun control and working to find solutions to the issues that plague us. Um, as Americans and as Tennesseans, I'm interested in uh, the cool down period and making sure that people who are interested in purchasing guns actually have the time to think through the decision. I'm interested in closing the uh, whole gun trade show loophole and I'm interested in working towards uh, preventative care, uh, not preventative care, I'm working towards helping the mental situation for gun owners and to ensure that they are mentally healthy so that we have less um, issues. So are you for common sense? gun laws like Moms Demand Action and a bunch of organizations Definitely. are for. Okay, so our next question is, do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? Uh, definitely. How come? <laughs> for me, um, pineapples add a sweetness to the pizza that is absolutely delicious. I mean, you can add, I mean, we add basically anything you want to pizzas already. Anchovies, bell peppers, onions. Um, mushrooms, black olives, just to name a few. I don't see why we can't add pizza. I mean, but don't some I mean, things just not belong on pizza? Like, what if you added ice cream to pizza? Do I, you think that that's okay? I think the people who think that I mean, way are closed minded. Basically, like you're adding ice cream to pizza. Like, you're adding something sweet to the pizza. Like, you might as well, like, <laughs> add candy. Is that what you're trying to do? For me, if somebody like, made a candy pizza, pizza I would and, try it. And if it was okay, delicious, I would eat it. But what if it's a regular it. pizza with candy on it? If it, was, if it were delicious, I would eat it. But what if it weren't delicious? Would you still say it's okay? Because some people don't think that pineapple on pizza is delicious. I think if somebody else wants to eat it, it is okay for them, and I fully support that. We need somebody to eat the garbage in the world, after all. Okay. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the pink tax? Uh, for me, I find it uh, absolutely ridiculous that on fem feminine hygiene products that are necessary that they're that we're charging yeah. a tax on them. I mean. There's a reason they're necessary, and we should definitely support some legislation that helps to get rid of it. Well, okay, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks, Alan. Tune in tomorrow night to catch another news broadcast. I'm Sila. Have a good night.